There are four basic blood types, A, B, AB, and O. Each blood type is named for, for the marker or antigen that is on the surface of the red blood cell. There are two types of antigens, A or B. Blood type A only has the A marker on the surface of the red blood cell. Blood type B has only the B marker on the surface of the red blood cell. Blood type AB has both the A marker and the B marker on the surface of the red blood cells. Blood type O does not have any marker on the red blood cell. Think of O as nothing on the surface. Not only does the red blood cell surface have a marker, but the plasma surrounding those cells contain a specific antibody to attack any marker that is foreign to that person. There are two types of antibodies, antibody A or anti-A and antibody B or anti-B. Anti-A antibodies will bind to any A marker on a red blood cell to cause clumping. Anti-B antibodies will bind to B markers on the surface of a red blood cell to cause clumping. Blood type A has A markers on the surface of the red blood cell and an anti-B antibody that will attack any cell without a B surface marker. Therefore, it will not attack itself but will clump with any incoming blood with a B marker present. Blood type B has B markers on the surface of the red blood cell and an anti-A antibody that will attack any cell with a surface A marker. Therefore, it will not attack itself but will clump with any incoming blood with an A marker present. Blood type AB has both the A marker and the B marker on the surface of the red blood cells and therefore does not have any antibodies in their plasma. This makes blood type AB the universal recipient because it does not have any antibodies to attack any incoming blood. Blood type O does not have any surface markers on their red blood cells, so it has both types of antibodies in the plasma, anti-A antibody and anti-B antibody to attack any blood that has either an A or B or A and B markers on the surface. When considering whether or not a particular blood type can or cannot donate to another, it is important to identify the surface marker on the red blood cell or antigen of the donor and the plasma antibody of the recipient. Blood type A cannot donate to type B because the anti-A antibodies in the plasma of the type B recipient will bind to the A surface markers of the incoming blood cells. Blood type A can donate to type AB because there are not any anti-A antibodies in the plasma to attack the incoming type A red blood cells. Blood type AB cannot donate to type B because the anti-A antibodies in the plasma of the B recipient will bind to the A surface markers of the incoming red blood cells. However, the B surface markers will not be a problem. Remember, just consider the donor's red blood cells and the recipient's plasma antibodies when determining blood type compatibility. Type O is the universal donor because it has no surface markers on the red blood cells which can be attacked by any recipient's plasma. Type A only has anti-B antibodies so it will not attack O. Type B only has anti-A antibodies so it will not attack O. And type AB has no antibodies, so it won't attack O. Type AB is the universal recipient because it lacks plasma antibodies, so none of the incoming blood will be attacked. The RH factor, or whether or not a person's blood type is positive or not, depends on another surface marker. If the RH factor is present on the surface of a blood cell, the person is considered to be positive for the RH factor. When considering blood type compatibility, not only is it important to consider the plasma antibodies for the surface markers A or B, but whether or not the person is RH positive or RH negative. A RH negative person has no RH, so there is not a problem with them donating to another. The problem occurs when blood containing the RH factor, or RH positive blood, is given to a person that is RH negative. The first exposure is not a problem. However, the recipient that is RH negative will develop antibodies toward the RH factors so that the next time that the RH negative person is exposed to RH positive blood, the RH antibodies will attack the donated RH positive blood. 
Hemolytic disease of the newborn can occur when the mother is Rh negative and the baby is Rh positive. Although the baby's blood does not mix with the mother's blood, the mother responds to the baby's Rh positive blood by forming antibodies against the Rh factor. The first pregnancy this occurs, there are not any complications. However, the next time the mother is pregnant with an Rh positive baby, that Rh positive baby will be in danger of the mother's antibodies attacking its blood. There are no problems for an Rh negative baby.